Alright ladies and gentlemen, we're back on the channel with another build guide for you here in Artifact Seeker. And today we're going to be using Alvid here and we're going to be doing the ultimate Thunder build. So, I'll just uh, quickly go into the Magic Council. Um, so really the main ones you want to be taking in here is reroll skill, so skill refresh, divinity, then you just want to be going into damage, obviously we're going to be doing a lightning build so you want to go lightning damage and then as much base damage on the other things here as you can and much survivability, just depend on how much currency you have. Uh, we've got a bit to spare here but uh, I guess we can take some dash distance, why not? Alright, but the most important thing here will mostly be uh, the skills and really how you play. We've got a gift from the gods here, which is minion, explosion, frost skill power, and 30% damage. I mean, there's no reason not to take it, right? Uh, there's a special challenge up there. We can do that later. So, Alvid has move speed, strength, physics, energy, break, and glut. So, he's, uh, he's pretty good as a starting character. He's pretty fast, so we like the uh, move speed. Um... So I've been going in lately with uh, these three as a combo because we really like the uh, potion mix on uh, on the higher difficulties here. But it does mean we uh, lack a little bit of base damage for our lightning skills if we uh, choose to use this same loadout. I would obviously would change this one up. We'll need the Toxic Crown for uh, lightning build, so and have a look in here how much divinity would have six uh would we to spare yeah we could spend six uh so we could play it safe and go in here with uh what did i do there sorry i selected the wrong one uh we could play it safe and go in with the kraken tentacle here it's a pretty good all-round item for survivability and i've got some damage and armor there too and intelligence so it's a really good all-round item here. The extra HP is going to start stacking up. It's going to be really nice. Uh, and we're going to go in with uh, uh, our Thunder Rage here. Uh, so we get um, Gift from Thunder, Thunder Blessing. And I'm just going to go in with his um, starting skill here, the Chain Lightning. Uh, now we're on Atonement 24 here at the moment. So I think um, I had it on Tournament 23 last time. I think maybe I'd missed one, or maybe I'd unlocked uh, an extra one here. But uh, we're at Tournament 24, so things are going to be pretty pretty tough here. Uh, but let's go right in and uh, we'll see how this build performs. Now, obviously, you could choose to take more straight damage, but I've gone for some survivability options here because... Uh, just having especially potion mix and pharmacist together is like really really strong um, We could take a bunch of chests here. Do we want to start with chests? Why not let's uh, have some fun here So his starting skill this uh, lightning I forget what it's called off the top of my head, but the uh, As you can see, it's pretty good for, uh, it's called Chain Lightning. It's pretty good for early damage here. Um, so what do we want to do? Do we want to keep leveling up the one skill here? Jumps plus one. Uh, so I do think having one skill maxed out early on is really powerful. So we might go and do that. And we'll see how quickly we can level up here anyway. Alright, we're just going to keep going into chain lightning here. Lightning chain. As you can see, it's pretty pretty effective for uh, these early on waves. You can see they have the uh, invincible shields. Lightning chain. Uh, we haven't even used our uh, special attack. Uh, what do we want to take here? We could take 
banner of the potato brotherhood here early on which does make our shops more expensive but getting 20 luck and 20 armor early on here I think is going to be actually really good for what we're doing that uh, especially the armor of having a boost that big early here is pretty good um, we're gonna go for HP every time we see it we can now uh, lock in move speed and armor too though um, we're not going to be using that many shop refreshes this run because we're going to be a little bit poor. Now, we do, we do we just take some chests here and try and level level some things up and see what we get? We've got a fortune teller here. Uh, we don't have 20 plus luck. Alright, we just took damage from doing that, so that's... Alright, we've got our chain lightning, which is uh, what we wanted early here. Uh, let's see... Poison. Do we want to take one poison skill? I mean, we could. We could sell something here for some money. I think we sell here for money. Uh, do we want a lightning bat in this run? What is this guy based on here? He was, uh, he's intelligence. Okay, so we're probably going to be taking some intelligence stuff here. Uh, we're probably going to want him eventually anyway, so let's grab him, and he can be our next our next skill. Um, let's take the chests here for fun and see what they are. We've got a stimulant, and we've got some move speed. I think we take the move speed here. We've already got quite a bit now, so but we like, we like having high move speed. So it's high base damage and high intelligence scaling as well. Or do we just try and uh, level up one at a time? I think we'll uh, we'll keep going on that uh, that path and just see where we end up. Sometimes you just got to play the path that's given to you and uh, see where you end up. All right, maybe we sell again here because we don't really want these. All right, we've committed to the bat, so let's go all in on the bat here. Yeah, I think maybe we want, we want to take an elite here because we haven't taken that many fights yet. Uh, we have a little bit of damage on us from earlier. Alright, the next one we want to take is the... Uh, I can't remember what it's called though. The, uh, the eyes. <laughs> Alright, let's just use this. Oh, whoops. Oh, no reason uh, I forgot the energy potion here. We're doing pretty alright. And we've got a magnet, so we'll just uh, stack up the XP for a while. And then, as you can see, everything's getting pretty pretty well zapped here at the moment, which is nice. Alright, and we got a lightning bat. I think it's advantageous, especially early on, to try and get a couple of skills leveled up to maximum and get the super skill variants because they're just really really powerful especially for boss waves having a few of those really really helps out for the dps so the next one i think we're going to want to take is the one that uh stuns the enemies here i can't remember what it's called we'll have to uh, figure that out when we get to it Cool thing about this game is there are just uh, so many builds that you can uh, create here, and here's our bat. Perfect. Uh, let's see, I mean lightning skill power is exactly what we're after here. We do have to take a bit of negative armor, but we took some before, so we'll still be positive here. So we've got 32. Uh, how much money do we have? I think we want to take all the base stats here. Uh, skill damage for luck. Do we want to take this one or do we want to try and repair our luck in this game? Maybe we save our money for now. Alright, we'll see what this one is. A library. Uh, oh, they're already full level. Oh, yeah, that was a waste of. That's alright. Uh, do we want to grab a serpent here or do we want to reroll? Watch my uh, serpent spheres that uh, seek out enemies. Um, maybe we try and roll for our 
Uh, well, we definitely want a uh, lightning skill at the very least. Maybe we'll just grab the uh, <laughs> the next one that comes up. Oh, this is the one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the one I was thinking of. Thunder laser. Alright, we don't have much money, so we won't be able to do really much of anything in here. Is there anything that we really would like to lock in for later? Crit rate and damage is pretty good, but I don't know if we'll ever be able to afford it. See if he has any good potions. Ah. Uh, Alright, not that amazing. Does she have anything useful for us? A venomous Strike? And a Chakra. Um, we can't afford them. Frozen Aurora and Lightning Serpent. We can refresh, see if uh, we get lucky with... Uh... Yeah. And I don't think we had any major negatives here, really. But yeah, we just can't really afford to do much here at the moment. That's fine. Now we get to level this up a bit, which is great. Alright. Alright, so we've got our first boss room here. Now we don't have our uh, laser thing leveled up very much. We will want to get that obviously maxed out next. And that's going to help us really uh, do some crowd control here. Alright, we're kind of in the middle there. Let's start uh, use one of these. We're doing more damage with that. Maybe we take some more skill damage along the way somewhere. Really, we want to level up here during the fight if possible. Uh, so I'm just going to go back to war and bring this XP one. Alright, we've got our Thunder Laser. Uh, it's level 3 now, so it's doing a little bit more for us, but we really need it maxed out. Alright, uh, you can see it's a pretty. Pretty useful uh, skill to take. Is that a magnet thing? There's another level here too. Ah, so our DPS isn't really that crazy here at the moment. Um, might be a little bit of a war of attrition uh, <laughs> just with the amount of enemies on the screen. It gives us a chance to level up a bit more as we go along here. Alright, we've got, um, I don't really have that many, uh, defensive stats at the moment, but we're doing okay here for surviving. Just want to get our, uh, skill leveled up here, be able to slow and freeze everything more effectively. Here's another skill here, there is not too much. Right, so he's down to about 75, so we don't have uh, crazy DPS here at the moment. We do have two skills maxed out and one, two, level five. That's not too bad. We're gonna try and focus on him a bit more without uh, taking any damage here. Some builds you will have to stand a bit closer to the boss to actually trigger more DPS. Some other builds you can just sort of run around and then all your skills are just in the way for you. Uh, so we're doing damaging a bit faster when we're standing right next to him, but he's also moving around. Alright, we've almost got this leveled up now, so one more level here. We might even get it during the fight. Really awesome. Alright, as you can see, it's uh, keeping them uh, stunned now. And still got uh, one more level here. Uh, let's Behind him now. Yeah, the way that one. Oh, 
Try not to use all the potions. I'll try and leave. Oh, now we can probably grab another altar thing here. Range. Range is always nice. That gives him <laughs> pretty much in range. Yeah. Let's use another skill here. Let's see how to do with him. Alright, there's our uh, thunder laser. Okay. As you can see, we've got a lot of lasers now. And this should keep everything pretty well frozen. Uh, and we just need more DPS options now, so. Let's see what else we get when our skill chests come up next. A lot of energy potions here, we like our potion mix. Oh, he ran away as a Alright, where's he at? 14% left. Yeah, these bosses on the high atonement levels are really, really tanky. You really uh, will have to fight against their HP pools with some of their builds, but uh, as you can see, we're surviving pretty, pretty good here. Everything's just staying frozen, and he's down. Uh, all right, we don't want any of these. So we only got two refreshers left. We might have to take Thunder Strike here. But we are uh, all intelligence here at the moment, so at least it gives us a. Uh, I guess we take armor, and then we care for re uh, repairing our luck. What is our dodge at the moment? Only ten percent. This would take our luck into the positive, which we do like. Uh, Frost fairy wings, move speed. Just take the uh, straight damage percentage here. We've already got 72, apparently. Selling here will give us, uh, what, 8,800, which is really that amazing. We could take luck here, and now that we have positive. You know what, let's take some luck here. Got to be an armor and other stuff there, too. <coughs> Uh, alright. What is our move speed now? 20 something? We can take a little bit of negative for taking the HP here, and we'll just grab the stats and move on with our. We can take, I guess we're going to have a look at a reroll. <coughs> we do like crit rate. I'm not really building so much into dodge right now. It's a bit expensive though. I guess we can lock it in and maybe we can afford it later, we'll find out. Alright, where do you where do we want to go? Maybe the top up here. Serpent Temple. Alright, let's just go through here and see what we get. Uh request fifty plus. We only have thirty-two. Uh do we bother going in this place? Deals us damage. We just move on with our lives. I've never gone through that one properly. I don't know. I've only got it come up a couple of times. Alright, looks like we have no real objectives here, so we're just gonna clear out these enemies. As you can see, this build uh, keeps everything pretty pretty well locked down. You're gonna be pretty safe most of the time. Some enemies will get through, like uh, these little guys that are kind of hard to see. Uh, but we really do want some more uh, DPS here, so we're definitely going to want... Might even want to grab Toxic Nova or something if it uh, shows up, just a compliment. The other stuff that we're doing here... Oh, As you can see, as I just run through... <coughs> the uh, beams just go everywhere and just freeze. 
most of the time you're pretty safe. Obviously, if you uh, don't see the enemies and they're on stream, it can still be an issue, but for the most part, we should be pretty safe with this build. We'll grab some more HP and stuff with uh, stats if we can along the way. Got a cube over here. Let's use another one. Making all our attacks uh, bigger is going to be pretty nice. So they're all doing, you know, within the similar ballpark in terms of DPS there. Right, we've got the critical rate. We've got two crit rate he, uh, pickups here. I don't think we can afford both right now. I think we're going to grab this one and we'll uh, leave that one locked in for now. Uh, we're going to go this top path here, I think. Let's have fun with this elite and see how our build stacks up after this one. Getting more uh, crit rate here is going to be pretty nice, so I do think we will buy that other one next. Next shop. There's big chunks of XP. It's pretty nice. Just got everything unlocked down here. And yeah, we just need another DPS option here. Things have slowed down a little bit. Look how quickly we can kill things. Although we're still getting through them. Oh, we've got a goblin guy over here. Let's go for him. Where's he going? Come back here, buddy. Let's, uh... I guess we go into our Thunderstrike next. We got him, we didn't necessarily need to use that, but it's still good to clear get the mobs out. As you can see, I'm just sort of walk through them pretty casually here. Just use another one to clear. More out. More enemies killed with more XP anyway, so no, no reason to hold back. One of the reasons we like uh, the potion mix is uh, just getting so much energy back for our super skill. Which, uh, on the high atonement levels, recharges pretty slowly. Do we want to take some free move speed here and dodge? I think we can take this one. Got a lot of base move speed now, though, so we can afford to uh, take a little bit less. I think we take the crit rate. And if we buy some uh, from the shop here as well, uh, we're running intelligence, so we don't want to buy that one. I don't know if we need more move speed at this point. I'll be our crit rate 43.8%. Oh, sorry, 34.8%. Alright, let's take on this elite. Got an objective down here. Let's see. It's one of these. Should be able to do this pretty. Easily, let's just let them all stack up before we pop our skill. for a moment. Make some extra range. Check out penetration. Pretty sure there was a potion over here somewhere. Let's grab that to stay safe. Stay topped off. Uh, and it, as you can see, uh, our defense is a little bit wacky here now. Which is uh, going to happen on some of these high atonement runs. Uh, 
Uh, but as you can see, we're staying pretty safe anyway. Just uh, go to the for our energy mix. For the end here. Uh, toxic Beetle, not really the one we want for this build. We want probably Toxic Nova if we were going to take a poison skill. Summoning. Uh, we do have a lot of move speed already. I guess we could take this one. Increase our bats as well as some of our other stats there. We could take Pharmacist. We could take Pharmacist as well. Got a decent amount of uh, Pharmacist now, which is good as well. Armor, HP. Just taking our uh, base stats here along the way. Bit more skill damage. We're not really building into luck that much. Do we need skill cooldown? What is our skill cooldown right now? We don't really have any. I guess we could take it. Leave us pretty broke. But we need something. Let's take these chests and see what we get. Alright, skill cooldown and dodge for a bit of damage. What is our base damage now? 90. Uh, this one's for poison... Do we take Ring of Infinity here, maybe? Let's take it for the skill cooldowns, mostly. Oh, what's our second one? Uh, not getting the best options here, really. Do we want to take our negative HP just to get... Uh, <laughs> Oh, this would increase our uh, eye damage as well, would it? Maybe we take this one. We'll take the Holy Grail. Let's uh, give us a negative uh, on our health, though. Do we want to grab Lightning Serpent while we're here, or just keep going? I guess we just keep going on Thunderstrike. We do, do need to get it maxed out if we can. I'll take on some more Elites here and see how we go. I'll try and get this other skill maxed out if we can. Oh, we've got damage and uh, crit rate here, which is pretty nice. So maybe we just take it and try and melt everything. Uh, so the extra crit rate is really nice here. He's almost dead. Uh, we're pretty banged up though, so maybe we try and uh, play it safe here now. There's a potion in there somewhere. I think we need to scoot through and grab it. Just to play it safe. And should be okay here. Pretty sure they died down here somewhere. Energy potion. Time for another one there. So I did stay near the uh, elites there a bit longer just to make sure they died. Because we don't want those energy walls flying around the map the entire time. They're pretty annoying. As you can see, we're pretty, pretty, pretty good for survivability, even though we only have 2,000 health right now. We'd want uh, a lot more if we can get it. Alright, we've got a max HP one here. Do we want to take this? Plus 200 we got. <coughs> plus 8 enemy respawn, which is not necessarily ideal. Let's take it for the uh, stats though. I think we need uh, extra health here. Uh, what is our move speed? 54. I guess we can take... We want to stack up a lot of armor too. I mean, it's great to have defensive stats, and we don't have a lot of dodge right now, so. Alright, we kind of like all these as well. Let's take the HP. Let's take the crit rate. Uh, how much money do we have left? We can only really afford one of these. I guess we take the armor. We'll leave that one locked in for later. 
Now we're leaving ourselves pretty broke for the final shops here again, but we really want the base stats. Alright, I'm gonna rock the golem this time. Let's uh, try melting. I've got a grizzly as well. So our eye beams are doing some pretty good work here. We just gotta make sure we're staying close enough to these elites that they're actually getting uh, hit by our attacks. Backed into a corner isn't necessarily great like this. Let's move around if we can. There's little traps there. They look like poos. Alright. They are close to the which is nice. This guy's still alive, let's try and uh, finish him off if we can. As you can see, we're just not taking that much damage because we have so much armor here now and the potion will just totally heal us. So we're pr playing it pretty... pretty casually here and we're still doing just fine. Uh, achievement there, let's go. Alright, uh, do we want any of these? A little bit of extra XP is okay, I guess. Maybe the skill cooldown here is nice for our build. And we just take more pharmacist here, right? Summon skill power, 89,000, I don't think there's any way we're affording that anytime soon. Elite enemy attack plus 30%. <laughs> Maybe we pass on that one, hey? Oh, what's our little fireplace here got? Yeah, no way we're affording anything here at the moment. Lightning serpent. It's the one we have called. It's Thunder Strike. Do 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 do. Didn't really get lucky there. Any potions we care for? I mean, he's got all damage, but I can't afford it. So we just move on with our lives, save our money for our uh, our base stats here. Just keep going on that skill. All right, <coughs> we might struggle with the boss DPS here if we uh, can't get this skill leveled up. But I guess we'll see how we go here. We've got dodge down there, which is pretty nice. Maybe we save that for uh, if we feel like we need it. Yeah, we've got two of these right now, so. Might be a little bit annoying because in this guy we'll see how that goes. Right, these uh, energy balls are kind of annoying. Right, should we go down? Looks like there is a chest objective up here, so why don't we go for this? I've got another elite boy here. Got the chest. Send Miriam with our energy beams, our eye beams. Yeah, I'm not really worrying about saving my um, special skill attack there for any particular reason. We just use it as, as frequently as we get it, pretty much. Or just when we feel like there's a lot of enemies around. I'm just going to try my best to stand near him 
without taking too many hits because he can easily kill us here if we're not uh, not careful. Do we really need one of these potions? Where is it? There we go. He's got a lot of health, and our skills don't do single target that much that well at the moment. We grab the dodge there, just to try and be safe for a little bit. Just use our skills. Next to him. Skills missing me, or are we just dodging him? Yeah. I've got a bunch of potions there, which is uh, pretty nice. Maybe we move the fight away from him a little bit and just save him. But if we get stuck later, because he, he summons extra elites later on, which is a little, a little hard to deal with on this map. It's pretty small, so. Yeah, so we would like our boss DPS to be a bit higher, but um, we did want to get our uh, eye beams leveled up because they really uh, they really save the lightning uh, builds here. I think being able to freeze everything. Okay, finally we got it leveled up. Almost got the super skill. Need one more level here, so I guess maybe we come around and grab a bit of that. And next room for a bit when we can get the extra damage on. What have we got over here now? Dodge again? Sure, we'll take that. Didn't actually need to use, uh, use that potion. Alright, here come the elites. Yeah, we'll definitely dunk our thing there. Grab some potions. Right, we do want to try and kill these guys quickly if we can. How far are we away? I'm sort of need XP for the next level. So I'm just trying to do it while not taking too many hits here. We are relatively safe from uh, most of the enemies, but these big guys can do a lot of damage if we're not, uh, not, not playing it careful. We like seeing a lot of those energy potions lying around everywhere there. I think they're dead. I don't see them running around anymore, and I see a cube, so I think we're good. Alright, we just gotta finish this uh, guy off. How much does he have? About 30%. Stand behind him. Be tricky. They'll never see me here. Alright. And we're doing pretty good here. As I say that, and now start getting spammed by these. <laughs> so his little um, vortex things here can be pretty annoying, but you just have to try and stay away from them. We just got so many potions lying around that we're just we're doing fine here. We can use our skill quite a bit, and he's dead anyway. Didn't need to use it, but use it, but didn't need to. Right, hopefully we'll be able to get our super skill here. Uh, do, 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 do. Maybe we just grab the HP on this one. Move speed, range. How much money do we have? We have a little bit. Maybe we sell. We don't really need that much more move speed here. This one's not really worth much to sell. Guess we just grab it. Range, range could be good here. What's our range at the moment? Only eleven percent. Let's take some range. 
What did we get our crit rate up to? 39.2. Now it's 41. Very good. Alright, move speed's 52, and we can take some intelligence here. I think we leave like that. And then just more crit rate, I think, here. Build into our damage. Uh, magic synergy break. Fairy wings. I don't know if we really like these ones that much. Do we refresh here? See if we can get something better. Maybe use our refresh on this one. Summon and death for boss. Do we just take the 20% damage here maybe? I think that makes sense. Alright. Maybe we take the, uh, the skill damage here for our activatable skill. Also a range over there, which is a pretty good base stat for us. So let's grab that. Do a little refresh here, just see what we get. I don't know if we want to spend our money on any of that. Alright, so we're just looking for a path through to the end here. Get some chests and elites if we go there in the middle. Uh, we're getting some chests. Can only grab one elite if we go there. I guess it makes sense to take the path here and grab the chests and the elites. Alright, let's grab the uh, chest that's up here as well. We've got a lot of fireballs coming our way, which is pretty annoying. This chest has taken a while to uh, activate. Alright, we've got to just get out of there. Uh, what do we have here? Damage. I guess we just take it. I don't think there's anything special happening on this this here wave. It wasn't an elite wave, was it? I don't think so. Oh, we do need to be careful and grab some health uh, if we can here. Where's that potion? There we go. Use a skill, clear out some enemies here. As you can see, we uh, we survive and just fine. We've got a lot of potions, and they re refill a lot of our health. Uh, this thing's not going to recharge before the end of anything, so just try and uh, get out of there, and not get hit anymore if we can. See if we can get another potion drop before the end. Some XP chunks flying around. Oh, and we got hit again. Should have done that. Potion in here somewhere. There it is. One of the reasons going in with energy mix is really, really strong. You can just heal off an energy potion. Now we did get it to activate right before the end. <laughs> Um, maybe we take more crit rate here, get it up as high as we can. And uh, we'll take the HP. Don't want to take minus percentage HP because we have already quite quite low HP for where we are in the run here. Um, we can afford to take a little bit of minus damage. It's 15,000 though. I don't know if we want that. I guess we'll just take the cheap one. I think we're going to go along this path. We do not have the Demon Soul Synergy. Oh, here's our Thunderstrike finally. Uh, it was this path here, wasn't it? Let's see what we could get here. What is our Summon Synergy at the moment? Not for... Can we smash it? We've got a Book of the Abyss. What does that one do again? Summon... 
Alright. That's alright, that helps our, uh... Our back guys. Alright, now we would like to take the Elite there, but we've got two coming up, so I guess we'll take the chests here. Alright, we should be standing in here to uh, start doing this thing. Alright, we would like some more base HP here on the build if we can. We just have not gotten uh, all that lucky actually getting HP to roll. And I've been taking a lot of other stats because we need to make sure we have enough damage as well. So taking the crypt... Uh, crit chance there is really strong. Alright, there's a lot of enemies here. Alright. Alright, we've got to be careful here. What do we want to grab? Toxic Beetle is interesting. It's low base damage though, but we could get some poison. Poison ticks. Skeleton Soldier. We already have summon uh, skill power and stuff. I guess we could do that. Well, and strike blood and pierce. Uh, what was our summon skill power on the side here? Let's see. Our summon damage is plus 92. Maybe it makes sense to take this guy. And what, is, what else is he? Death. I don't know if we have much death at the moment. Death is 26%. Whereas poison, we only got 26. And. Our pierce here is 36. And what was the other one? Blood on that one. I think it makes the uh, most sense to grab the skellies here. Unfortunately, we used all our uh, rerolls already. So, uh, gonna have to go with that, but that's okay. Not a problem. Skeletons are actually pretty good when you get them leveled up anyway, but it might take a little bit to. Uh, get them leveled up. Might be uh, nice to have them as a DPS uh, option here on the build though. We got our uh, like crowd control okay, but our space damage is a bit low still. But sometimes you just have to go with uh, what the game gives you and uh, try and make the build work. Alright, just grabbing up all this uh, XP, stunning everything with my eyes, found a potion. Uh, I was going to say, let's go to the potion before the end, but it ended too quickly. And what did we get here? Maybe we save up some money at this point. Unless we uh, get HP. But we don't have artifact refreshes. Maybe we should need to invest in that. Uh, what do we have for armor piercing? Not much. Maybe we grab a bit of that. Alright, so level 1 skeletons not doing a ton of damage, but if we get them leveled up, they do actually uh, put some work in on the build. I think we should probably take the, the HP here just to be safe, because our build is a little bit lacking. Maybe we keep going on the crit rate for the extra damage. And then maybe save our money? We can do a shop refresh here. What is our armor situation? <coughs> 104. It's pretty good damage resistance already. Maybe we take range. Save a bit of money. Alright, take some chests and elites here and then see how we go. God killing arrow. Puncture, crit rate, and coup de gras. What is coup de gras? Quickly and gracefully take away the enemy's life. 
X percentage of critical hit rate exceeding 100% will be converted into critical hit damage. Ooh. Well, we're not exceeding 100% though, are we? That's alright, maybe uh, one day we will be. Let's take it. Got something interesting to roll there. Alright, what about this one? Lightning ro uh, boots. I mean, I guess we take it, right? Makes sense to uh, take our lightning one here. Uh, Alright, do we want a six lightning skill more than we want? I think dark lightning ball does some pretty high DPS. Maybe we take, uh, take on that one. Oh, it has a high base damage anyway. In this build, it should uh, should be some pretty good DPS. This is what we're looking for here. Let's try and do this if we can. Alright, 100%. You're free, so I'm going to get bounce around. Instead of trying to get out of there. Whoops. Alright. We made it... Skill and minion. Problem with stolen treasure. Gimme. Oh, here's a real elite, is it? Oh, looks like our uh, damage is a bit better now. I'm um, getting the extra skill here is going to be really good, so we've got six now. I'm just going to use this to try and clear some. Uh, what do we have? Still 51 seconds. I've got another elite. Let's see how quickly we can uh, kill this guy. Where is he? Oh, is that him? Stop moving around, buddy. Where is he? Over here. Uh, maybe we won't. So they're taking all the damage and then I'll just go through them anyway. <laughs> ah, yeah. There's the potion. I don't know uh, even where they are at this point. So we'll just try and survive here. Grab some goodies. I think one of them survived, but that's okay. Couldn't really see what was going on there in the middle. Oh, do we just take an intelligence buff, or what do we do here? Minion attack cooldown. Let's take a bit of intelligence here. And... More intelligence? Oh, this one's really good. The candlestick's really good for us here, too. What does that give us? Almost 2,700. Uh, here we sell, I think. To get the money. Look how much we uh, healed up. Alright, so... The skellies do more as base DPS there. Than this lightning ball thing. But it does scale quite a bit off our intelligence there. Or is that that's the only uh, non-intelligence skill we have? It's all right. Let's see how we go. Oh, here we go. We can take both for uh, oh, geez, fifty thousand. Maybe we do a shop refresh. Take a bit of a uh, healing potion. And we like the range. Move speed and dodge. What did, what did our dodge end up at? 17.5%. We could take more HP here for the final uh, final encounters. Lock that one in, I guess. I want to lean, and then we're just about done. So, we're pretty close to 3,000 health here in the end. I don't know if we'll be able to get our skills leveled up enough. 
All right, here's the question. What do we want to do here? Go with our skeletons or our lightning? I guess, uh, so we don't have much of a choice here. Our skeletons are pretty good uh, when they level up. We have uh, almost 100% extra. Minion. Power. Summon power, whatever you call it. Oh, that extra <laughs> lightning seal looks like it's putting in some work though, so I guess if we if it comes up in the uh, skill choices we'll pick it. it. Looks like it is helping out. I think it takes their shields off really quickly. But it also looks like the crit damage on it is really good. Uh, scorpion look thing. Here's a skill. The immortal, who's already half health. Right, as you can see, our potion mix and uh, pharmacist just together is just keeping us alive so uh, so easily here. No reason not to grab the energy potion. Grab some dodge too. Alright, I think we got a magnet there, did we? I don't think we've seen too much going on. <laughs> but we did it anyway. Alright, I guess we keep stacking intelligence here. Most of our skills are intelligence based. Uh, uh, we can take armor piecing too, it doesn't hurt. Do we sell one here? Maybe we sell. Don't really care for those stats too much. And what is our move speed now? 52. We can still afford to uh, to do that. Let's just take armor here. We need those defensive stats. All right. So looks like our skills are put in some work. It does say our uh, skeletons are doing a lot more damage than the other the other things though. So. Guess we can just focus on that. I don't know if we want to spend all our money here right now. <laughs> Let's see what's in here first. What do we have? 69,000. Uh, death. I guess if nothing else comes up here, we could buy something there. What do we end up going with? It's called uh, Dark Lightning Ball. Let's see what our refreshes uh, if they give us anything. We've got a lightning ball here. We can buy that. I think we can afford to do a refresh here. We've got a Skelly Soldier level as well. What's the next refresh? 12,000. It's getting a little expensive. Uh. Alright, I don't think we can really afford anything there. Make sure we use the bonfire. I don't care too much for her. Is there anything we really want to buy here? Taking the holy one might be fun. That's how our, our eye beams are holy. Let's leave this place for a second. I guess we take the dark... The dark ball. 
Uh, we have... We have Dark, Death, Pierce, Holy, Summon, and Annihilate. I guess that's what we're doing. Actually, right, so this is where we've ended up. We're just under 3,000 health. We'd, we would have liked a bit more, but... 126 intelligence, 108 armor, 205% uh, damage. Only 16% dodge. We would have liked more, but didn't get that much to show up. Minus 7% cooldown. Crit rate, 64.8%. Crit damage 1.88, that could be a bit higher too. Move speed was 48%. We had Glut hit up to 70%, which was pretty nice. Pharmacist was uh, 67, Potion Mix 46. And then 95% uh, lightning damage, 96% uh, summon damage. And you can have a look at every, everything else there that you're interested in. And uh, let's go and do this final boss fight. We would like to really have leveled up another skill before the end, but it is what it is. We got uh, a few levels from the shop there, though, which was pretty nice. We got this immortal nerd straight away. I'm just going to try and survive, really. There's nothing... Uh, Nothing too special about the uh, in-boss fight here. They just have a lot of HP, so just got to sit through it all. It's the exact, uh, exact reason why that poison build we did on the channel was super strong and still, in my opinion, one of the strongest. Because it's just easy mode. Just got to take some defensive stats and watch your poison stack up on everything. Here we have to make sure we're actually uh, getting our DPS onto the enemies and staying safe in the process, which I'm not doing too well right now. There he is. Oh, here he is. Right, he's got a lot of health, so... Alright, so we'd love another level on really either of our skills. It doesn't really matter at this point, either one. I think they were both level 3, roughly, at the moment. I'm just grabbing some of this XP that's lying around. Hopefully, we can hit another level here. I'm just not really too worried about uh, our health and stuff. Uh, we'll take the soldier. Maybe we can get him leveled uh, pretty close to max here. It's going to take us a while to chip down the uh, boss at the moment. See, there's a lot going on, but in terms of survivability, I mean, we're just uh, cruising, you know. I didn't really mean to grab both of those potions, but I've got another thing down here. I guess we can go for it. No harm in. Uh, Buffing ourselves while we do this. Oh, I've got dodge, so. Sitting right on him, DPSing him. There, so we're pretty, pretty all right. Oh, 
Alright, we took a couple hits there. That's not ideal. Big circle, grab some of this. Now, where is he at anyway? 25%. So we're doing alright DPS when we stand like right on top of him. Which does make it a bit more risky, but we need to grab one of these potions before the second guy spawns in just to be safe. This thing down here is getting close to being charged again, so we'll go down and grab the buff. We'll wait maybe till the second guy spawns though. What have we got him at? 9%. And right on top of him. Okay, he does go down relatively quick if I can uh, <laughs> just get all my eye beams kind of focused right on him. There we go, we've got the double, so this one could be more difficult. Getting knocked around a lot more. Trying to do our DPS strategy. Yeah, unfortunately, we just uh, we don't have, really have enough health to just sit there for uh, the whole time. <laughs> right, our um, our thingo is charged down here. Skill pull down and minion. Oh, we like some more potions to spawn near us, though, so we don't have to go all the way up there. Right, those tornadoes kind of blend into the background here. We might just go up for the potion plate save. Looks like another one spawned there anyway, so got another heal. Ulta's at 60%, so we can head back down there in that direction soon. Let's just dump another one of these in the middle here. And we're pretty close to another level. There we go. Alright, we're not going to get all the way to max here, I don't think. But just having the extra skeleton DPS has been pretty nice here. They're pretty good once they're fully, fully leveled. And what have we got? Shadow Flames down to about 30%, so... Alright, let's see if we can grab both of those. Stand on top of him. We've got a magnet. How much is that worth for us? How much? Alright, our uh, altar thing down here is recharged. So let's grab another buff. See what it is. Penetration and range. Alright, this first guy's almost dead, and then we just have the dragon, alright, he's down, so we just got the dragon boy here now to worry about. This guy's not hard, he's smaller than the other dude though, so he can fly away sometimes. Just try and follow him around, <laughs> focus on him. So if we're able to actually get in a situation where we can single target him, we do plenty of uh, DPS. The problem is just dealing with the uh, insane amount of mobs at the same time. And we, uh, we 
this one down. So let's do that. And there we go. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, there's another run complete. That was Atonement 24 on uh, Alvid. That is our lightning build. Uh, we did have one non-lightning skill in there, which was the skeleton soldiers, which we got up to rank 5, 5 out of 6, or level 5. And we're just going to go through the end screen here. Doesn't really what you, uh, matter what you grab at the end there. That one says new, so I'll take that. Don't know if I've saved one of those before. Right, you can see the big damage for us here was uh, Thunderstrike and uh, the Lightning Bat. But also Thunder Laser, that is our eye beams. That was the one that's keeping everything frozen as well. So it's a pretty really good skill to have on this build. Uh, this one is uh, the Chain Lightning. So that was the one that's zapping everything, which is really useful for taking off the shields. And down here, as you can see, the Skeleton Soldiers. Actually, you're just doing decent DPS. And this guy was just helping us with shield removal too. But it does good base damage. Uh, if we got that one leveled up to max, that would have been really nice too. Uh, and we'll just go in and save our new ones here for now. And that's all we're going to do there. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching another video on the channel. If you made it this far, consider hitting like and subscribe to help our channel grow here. And hey, looks like they've uh, added continue and endless map. We're not going to do that for this video here at the moment. So, all right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for checking out another video on the channel. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next one.